So friends, today's question, a spray gun shown in the figure where a piston pushes air out of the nozzle, a thin tube of uniform cross section is connected to the nozzle. The other end of the tube is in a small liquid container. As the piston moves, pushes air through the nozzle, the liquid from the container rises into the nozzle and is sprayed out. For the spray gun shown, the radii of the piston and the nozzle are 20 mm and 1 mm respectively. The upper end of the container is open to the atmospheric pressure. So we have to find out these two things. In the first part, part A, if the piston is pushed at the speed of 5 mm per second, the air comes out of the nozzle with the speed of and in the part b if the necessary if the density of the air is pa rho a sorry and the density of liquid is rho l then for a given piston speed the rate of that is volume per unit time at which the liquid is sprayed will be proportional to so this is given as a spray tube and we have a piston and this piston is pushed inside and this is a liquid container and it is pushed piston is pushed towards the right the liquid rises from this container and it gets sprayed out so we have to find out these two things based on the question and it is given that the upper end of the container is open to the atmospheric pressure so in this case we are going to use uh, the Bernoulli's theorem to find out the uh, various relationship that is going to help to solve the question based on based on given diagram. So let us start from the Bernoulli's equation. If you can say Bernoulli's equation. And Bernoulli's equation is given as P plus half rho V square plus rho G H is equal to constant. So this is our Bernoulli's equation. And in this P is the pressure. P is the pressure at any point in the fluid at a point in the fluid rho is the density of the fluid density of V is the velocity of the fluid and H is the through which H is the rather we can say height of the fluid. And G is the our acceleration of gravity. So it is given, or rather we can say from the figure, we can see that our this liquid is flowing horizontally in this direction. So therefore, there is no change in height. So we can take uh, ignore this height component. So we can say that the piston pushes 
the air or in the sense liquid horizontally that is no change in the height h therefore rho g h is ignored so therefore we can modify the given equation or we can say bernoulli's equation that will equal to p and we have this half rho v square will be equal to constant let us call this a equation number one now we, here we have two situations and in the first situation we can consider the Bernoulli's theorem somewhere here which is very far from the nozzle and the second situation we can consider round what here that is about the nozzle so let us consider this analysis we are going to divide or you can say modify the equation one according to these two situations therefore we say anal applying equation one applying equation one for given situation or given situations so let us start with situation one and in situation one we can say that the air is far from the nozzle or liquid is little bit far from the nozzle you can see the liquid which is a combination of air also is far from the nozzle and there we can assume that the air or the liquid combination of the air is stationary we can assume there that air which is also have a liquid in it is stationary so that our velocity v let us call that situation velocity v1 will be approximately equal to zero and the pressure is our atmospheric pressure you can see pressure is atmospheric pressure therefore we can write that our p will be equal to p atmospheric p atm so now the equation number one can be modified as thus equation one is we get it as p atm that is atmospheric pressure plus one row and the density multiplied by zero velocity will be equal to constant so it can be written as that of his p atm atmospheric pressure is equal to constant now let us write the equation number one according to second situation situation 
we say situation number two and here you can say the air is moving with the high speed which is also combination of liquid so we can say air that is liquid is moving with high speed such that the velocity v will be equal to velocity of the the liquid or air that is velocity at a nozzle n stands for nozzle n is our nozzle and the pressure p let us suppose called as pn that is pressure at the nozzle therefore equation 1 from equation 1 we can write it as pn plus half rho a that is the density of the liquid vn square will be equal to constant so let us call this equation as equation number sorry this equation is equation number 3 equation number 2 and this we call as equation number 3 so from equation 2 and 3 from equation 2 and 3 we get p atmosphere is equal to pressure at the nozzle plus half density rho a and v n square now we can just modify this equation and the modification of this equation will be giving us p atm minus p n will be equal to half rho a and v n square so this p atm that is atmospheric pressure minus p nozzle we can call this as difference in pressure that is pressure difference therefore pressure difference let us call that as delta p will be equal to p atmospheric minus p nozzle will be equal to half rho a and v n square now this difference in pressure is responsible for the pulling of the liquid upward it means the liquid that is being pulled from this container in the upward direction the delta p we just found out is responsible okay. therefore we can write that this difference in pressure this pressure difference is responsible pressure difference is responsible for pulling the liquid upward and if we say that the velocity of the liquid that is rising from the tube okay so let me draw the rough figure here so this is our nozzle and here we have a container which is something like this and the nozzle will be spraying the liquid and we say that the the liquid is rising upward with the velocity vl and the density of the liquid is given as rho l okay. so we say the speed of liquid 
rising in the tube the speed of the liquid rising in the tube rising sorry speed of the liquid rising in the tube is vl and density is rho l then using the torsley's theorem we can write then according to torsley's theorem we can say that the pressure Torsley's theorem the pressure difference delta P causes the liquid to flow and that will be given as according to Torsley's theorem we can say that the pressure difference pressure difference which is our delta P that causes the liquid that causes the liquid to rise or we can say to flow is given as delta P will be equal to half density of the liquid and the velocity of the liquid and from here we can find out or write rather that the velocity of the liquid VL will be equal to this comes as 2 delta P divided by density of the liquid. So this is the velocity of the liquid with which it is going to rise inside the cube and we already know the value of delta p so we substitute here value of delta p so therefore we get that our velocity of the liquid vl will be equal to 2 multiplied by 1 by 2 and we have density of air rho a and we have nozzle velocity vn square and this is divided by our rho l and it square root 2 goes with 2 and we can just write this as will be equal to vn and we have square root of rho a upon rho l rho l and we have to suppose to find out the volume flow rate of the liquid so we can write that the volume flow rate of the liquid volume flow rate of liquid let us suppose that is given as ql and that will be equal to that is the area of the cross section of the tube let us call that a tube multiply by velocity of the liquid where this a tube is our area of cross section or oh, let's write it cross section area cross sectional area of tube 
we substitute value of VL. So we get our QL will be equal to Vn multiplied by area of the tube that is V tube and we get this square root of rho A upon rho L and in the question it is asked to find out the proportional therefore we can say that our Q is proportional to square root of rho A upon rho L so this is the flow rate of the liquid proportionality which is coming out from the you can say from the nozzle okay so oh i forgot to find out one thing here which we were supposed to find out what will be the velocity of the liquid that will be coming out from the nozzle let me find out I forgot to I only found the you can say part B and part B we can say the equation uh, the option number A is the correct option so this gives us that this is our part B so we can say option A is correct Please remember this is for part B. Now let us solve for part A. And for part A, we are supposed to find out the velocity of the, I think, Vn we are supposed to find out. Please let me check. Yeah lost air coming out of the nozzle with the speed of okay. so let me put it here this is our part b and let us do for part a now in part a we are going to use equation for continuity okay. so we can say equation of continuity And which gives us that AP multiplied by VP will be equal to AN multiplied by VN, where P stands for piston and N stands for nozzle. P is our piston and N is our nozzle. Therefore, we can write that AP is our cross-sectional area of the piston. AP is our cross-sectional area of piston. VP is our velocity of the piston the yeah, speed of the piston speed of piston an is our area cross sectional area of the nozzle an is our cross sectional area of nozzle and Vn is the speed of the air which is also contained in the liquid. Speed of air which is also containing some liquid exiting the nozzle. Exiting the nozzle. let us find out the cross sectional area cross sectional area cross 
cross sectional area the first we are going to find out the cross sectional area for the piston so we for piston and we have that ap ap will be equal to pi r p square where rp is the radius of the piston because p stands for piston so rp will be equal to radius of piston so we substitute the values we get our ap will be equal to pi and this comes as 20 multiplied by 10 is power minus 3 whole square which gives us 400 pi multiplied by 10 is power minus 6 meter square and similarly we are going to write for nozzle so we can say for nozzle area is given as a n which is equal to pi r n square and our r n will be radius of the nozzle a radius of nozzle we substitute the values area of the nozzle will be equal to pi and this comes as our 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 whole square which will be equal to pi 10 to the power minus 6 meter square meter square and let us call this equation as I think this should be equation number 4 so from equation 4 from equation 4 we can write velocity exiting the nozzle that is Vn will be equal to area of cross section of the piston multiplied by velocity of the piston divided by area of the nozzle this is our velocity of the liquid or air coming from the nozzle now we simply substitute the values we can write our vn will be equal to we have this as 400 pi multiply by 10 to the power minus 6 and multiply by vp velocity is given as 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 and an we found out is our pi multiply by 10 to the power minus 6 minus 6 and minus 6 goes away pi and pi goes away and we are left with this as this is 10 to minus 3 this will be coming equal to as 2 into 2 meter per second one second velocity is given as five five millimeter per second so this gives us 2 meter per second this is the velocity of the air or nozzle coming out from the nozzle we can say this velocity this is the this is the velocity of air which can be consisting also of the liquid coming out of the nozzle so the options that are given to us we can say that the option number c is the correct option 
can say option C is the correct option. Option C is correct. So this completes the question. Thank you.